Hello everybody. In this video, we will see how to fill the application form for PGDBA. PGDBA, Postgraduate Diploma in Business Analytics, is a program jointly offered by IIT Kharagpur, IIM Calcutta, and ISI Kolkata. Now, this is the homepage of the PGDBA application website, which is pgdba.iitkgp.ac.in. Now, in this website, on the left side, you will see a lot of links like partnering institutions, which are the three that I have mentioned, course list, program calendar, and so on. We suggest you go through these before coming to the how to apply part. In fact, especially a couple of things I would like to run through are the program calendar, which says it is a two-year course from 2024 to 2026, where you have one semester at each of the three institutions and one industry internship. Now, coming to the eligibility and selection criteria, go over that before getting to how to apply. One more thing I would like you, I would like you to go through is the important dates. You can see that the applications commenced on the 5th of January. Now, the last date of sub submission of application form is the 6th of February 2024, and the computer-based test is on 17th March Sunday. Now, the other dates are also here, which you can go through. Now coming to the how to apply part. Once you click on how to apply, you will see a to apply click here link over there. Now click on that link. Once you click on that link, it will take you through some enrollment ID and password application portal, which you may not have right now. If you are a first time user of this portal, click on new user registration. Now you will be directed to another page where you have to give your exact name as in the 10th class certificate, your valid email address, which will be used for communication with you, and a valid 10-digit mobile number. So please enter all these three details in the CAPTCHA over here, after which click on sign up. Once you click on sign up, what happens is you will be given an enrollment ID and your name, email address, and mobile number will be auto-filled in the application form. So the first step, of the application form is filling up the basic information. So coming to all these details, your enrollment ID, full name, email address, and mobile are already filled. And then if you see, you will have to start entering your father's name, mother's name, your exact Aadhaar card number, and your date of birth in the format DDMMYYYY. Following your date of birth, you will have to give your gender, then category. For category, remember that you have Five options here, general, OBC, non creamy SC, ST, or EWS. After enter entering your category, you will be asked to enter your physically challenged status. Please enter that. And then your nationality, followed by your exact residential address. So write your address with the city, state, on the PIN code. Then we have choice of examination city. The link for examination cities is also available in the homepage. I suggest you go through those before coming to this. Or even if you click here, you will find this year there are about 25 cities given as examination cities. So out of the 25 cities, select your first choice and your second choice. And then you have to give your city choice for interview. In case you qualify for the interview, you will be asked to choose this city in advance for which there are only four options, Bengaluru, Kolkata, Mumbai, and New Delhi. After the choice of examination city and interview choice, you will have to give your qualifying degree details. Now remember, your qualifying degree is one of these four formats accepted. Bachelor's degree in engineering technology or science of the format 10 plus 2 plus 4 or 10 plus 2 plus 5 or 10 plus 3 plus 3, followed by master's degree in engineering, science, or commerce, which is again 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2, or 10 plus 2 plus 5. Also, you have options to enter CA or CS or ICWA after graduation, CA or CS or ICWA after 10 plus 2. Once you enter your qualifying degree details, you have to give the name of the institution, the board or university, the year of qualifying, and then your CGPA. You have the option to give your CGPA either as CGPA itself or percentage out of 100. Give whatever is appropriately mentioned in your degree certificate. 
then give your CGPA out of maximum CGPA or your percentage marks out of maximum percentage. After your qualifying degree details, you have to enter 12th class or diploma details where you have to give again your grade or percentage and then year of qualifying again and the board followed by for 10th class again grade or percentage however it is mentioned in your certificate year of qualifying and then the board after this you will be asked whether you have work experience after your qualifying degree please remember work experience is counted only after completion of your degree and any internships are not qualified as full-time work experience. Only full-time experiences after completing the degree are counted as work experience. Now, after entering all these, at the bottom left, you will have the option to save and freeze and proceed next. Remember, once you give freeze and proceed next, you will not be able to go back and edit any of these details. So please ensure all these details are correctly given before you click on freeze and proceed next. So you click on freeze and proceed next of the basic information page. You will be asked to upload your photograph. Now your photo upload, look at the specifications. The file format must be JPEG or JPG or PNG only. And there are specifications for the dimensions as well. The width should be 200 pixels and the height 300 pixels. So please ensure your photograph is scanned with these dimensions or edit it to get it to these dimensions, then upload the file. Once you upload the photo in these formats, click on freeze and proceed next, following which you will have to give your signature. Now coming to the signature upload, again, there are specifications for this as well. The file format is again JPEG or JPG or PNG only. Now the width and height of your signature image must be 300 pixels and 150 pixels respectively. Again, for signature, please ensure you sign on a paper and then scan it and make it to these dimensions. So after you upload the signature, click on freeze and proceed next at the bottom right again, following which you will be taken to upload Aadhaar card page. Now remember the only format specified for Aadhaar card upload is PDF. So please ensure your Aadhaar card is scanned and taken as a PDF, or you can upload your e Aadhaar card as well. The file size has to be less than 150 KB. Please ensure these things before you upload your Aadhaar card. Once you upload your Aadhaar card, again, click on freeze and proceed next. Go to upload degree certificates. Now for degree certificates, you will have to upload your 10th certificate first, 10th class certificate or mark sheet in a single PDF file. Now, please remember that you will have to upload them in a single PDF file. Even if there are multiple pages, please scan and align them accordingly so that they are in a single PDF file. Once you upload your 10th class certificate, you will be asked to upload your 12th class or diploma certificate again in a single PDF file. Once you upload your 10th and 12th certificates, you will be asked to upload your degree certificate as well in a single PDF file. Again, ensure you align them accordingly and submit this. Once you upload your 10th, 12th and degree certificates in a single PDF file, click on freeze and proceed next. After which you will be asked to enter your experience details. Now, again, you will have to enter the name of the organization and then the duration will be from and to in date format DD, MM, YYYY. And please remember, you cannot just enter the start and ending date where they will calculate the number of months you will have to calculate the number of months of work experience. So please ensure you enter both the start and end date for a particular organization and the number of months correctly. You will also have to upload a certificate in a file format PDF for a particular company. Now, after you uh, upload for a single company, you will have the option to add a new company if you have multiple places of work experience. Once you click on add new, you can do the same for another company as well. Please remember if you are running your own enterprise or working on a family business, which is not registered in BSc or NSE, you will have to enter the details, enter the audited details of the company here as well. So please remember that part if you are showing your own work or your own venture as work experience. 
Now, once the work experience details are into, the last step you will have to do is the mobile verification part. So your mobile number would not have been verified till now. Only your email ID would have been verified. Now to verify your mobile, click on go to mobile verification page. You will get an OTP on your registered mobile number, which you had given earlier. Enter the OTP. After you enter the OTP and click on proceed, the last part is only the payment. Now the payment can be done through debit card, credit card or internet banking. Once the payment is done, your application will be complete and will be ready. You will just have to wait to download your admin card in February. We hope this video has helped you understand how to fill the application form for PGDBA. Now, in the description of this video, there is a document which contains six guidelines of the same thing. In case you need it, please go through that as well. And in case you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and wishing you all the best for your PGDBA.